Seraphine is everywhere right now and being spammed in three different roles. So if you want to join in, here's a quick guide to get you started that you can watch even in Champion Select. Seraphine is an enchanter with a ton of healing, shielding, crowd control, damage and utility and she can be played in the mid, the bot lane and support. Today's guide is all about playing Seraphine in the bot lane but this video should still help you out no matter where you want to play her. Seraphine excels in teamfights where she can provide a huge amount of utility and of course crowd control if she lands that big ultimate. She isn't quite as strong when she's alone though as her E and passive are stronger when teammates can assist her. Seraphine is also pretty squishy and if she does find herself out of position she's likely going to get bursted down pretty easily. For your runes you want to go for summon airy for some improved damage and shielding. After that pick up mana flow band, transcendence and gathering storm and then presence of mind and coup de gras. This setup is focused around improving your scaling, your damage, your ability haste and your mana. For your skill order you're going to want to max your Q first for its trading power, your W second for those improved shields and heals and finally finish off with your E. Moving on to those items now, and Lyndry's Anguish is the best damage mythic item to go for on this champion. It gives her a ton of useful stats and it also helps her melt down all types of opponents with the damage over time. After that you want to go for those ability haste boots, Archangel's Staff and Rylas Crystal Scepter. When you're running a damage style of Seraphine in that bot or mid lane, these are without a doubt your main items to prioritise. After that in most games you're going to want to finish your build off with a Zonya's Hourglass and a Chemtech Putrefire. There is also a few situational items too though like Magi's Soul Stealer, Ravenous Death Cap and even Avoid stuff. So against easier lanes you can look to consistently harass your opponents down with your Q and your passive. It's pretty easy to maintain control of the lane as you can shove easily with your wave clear. Just be careful you don't play too overzealous though as if you do get ganked to get behind this is going to massively reduce your effectiveness. Try to line up a good E to catch out enemies and stack it alongside allied CC if they do have some. Your ultimate is a fantastic way to set up fights and ganks as well so play around this when it's available. Harder lanes are ones where there is high kill pressure during the laning phase. Aggressive AD carries with high burst damage can be extremely threatening if they can get on top of you and burst you down. The key here is to be really cautious about the enemy jungler. Respect the matchups and gauge ranges and look to scale later into the game. Try to use the shield from your W combined with your ECC to keep yourselves alive and safe. Generally speaking, if you get out of that laning phase without being behind, you're going to be in a strong position as the game plays out. Seraphine works best in lane with other champions who share similar strengths of range, sustain and poke and ideally some CC too. They can scale up together with a utility and damage and keep each other safe at the same time. Seraphine also works brilliantly with allies who have big team fighting engages. Those combined ultimate wombo combos can be beautiful to watch if you do manage to pull it off. So during the lane phase, Seraphine is pretty effective at trading thanks to her own sustain combined with the harass provided from her passive. You want to farm up and harass your enemies with your Q and look to chip away at opponents with your passive whenever it's up. You do want to be cautious about using your W though as the movement speed and the shield are two of your best tools for surviving ganks and all-ins so keep yourself and your lane partner safe by using this ability carefully. Ideally you want to try and land your E after an ally has landed a slow or some CC beforehand to chain it together and then hit them with a load of damage. Seraphine's E just slows enemies that aren't CC but if they are slowed it will root them and if they're immobilized they'll get stunned by it. Once you have your ultimate you can also combine these abilities together to lock them down and set up ganks and fights much easier. Your pushing power is excellent but that doesn't mean you should always shove. Try to understand when to let that wave push into you so that you aren't exposed to ganks. The main thing about Seraphine though in the lane phase is not getting behind because you're almost always going to be more useful the later the game goes on. Seraphine can be godly in team fights, able to out impact almost every other champion in the game with the sheer amount of utility she offers and of course that CC too. You want to be focused on spamming as many shields and heals as possible whilst also looking for picks with your E and dishing out as much damage as you can with your Q and your passive. Positioning is going to be key when playing Seraphine in teamfights as if you do get caught out you'll die pretty quickly. Stay behind your own teammates as much as possible and stay aware of enemy flank attempts. As long as you stay in the right place though you're going to be super impactful with very little chance of being punished. Seraphine's ultimate can be absolutely game changing in those big crucial teamfights. Try to layer it on top of teammates initiations to have a better chance of hitting it. Alternatively you can also be the one to engage with it. The best way to do this is by utilising the fog of war or those tight choke points around the jungle where enemies will have a much tougher time reacting to it. Don't forget you can extend your ultimate's range by casting it through your teammates too so this adds even more reason to stay right at the rear of your own backline to be as influential as possible. Let's finish off with a few quick Seraphine tips. After pressing your ultimate there's a short cast delay in which you can flash to reposition your ultimate which is a really powerful tool to use it to engage with. This might not be something you want to be thinking about all the time as you are much better off saving your flash to keep yourself alive but if the stars do align go for it. You also want to make sure you're playing around your passive. Every third time you use a basic ability you will cast it an additional time with no extra cost. To add to this you also gain notes when casting abilities near your teammates up to 4 per ally. Having notes gives you bonus attack range and then when you auto attack your enemies you'll deal bonus magic damage based on how many notes you had. This can deal a surprising amount of damage so always utilize it as often as you can. Seraphine's Q also deals more damage based on your enemies missing health. Try and remember this when fighting throughout games and use that passive Q2 to execute your enemies easier. 
That's going to wrap up our short guide on Seraphine. Don't forget to check out our website by clicking that link in the description to find out builds and runes for Seraphine in all other roles, as well as all other champions in the entire game. Thanks for watching this video guys and as always, take care.